I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn a very good technique to write equation of perpendicular line. Question is write parametric equation of the line that pass through the point with position vector 1 minus 4 and is perpendicular to the line R 3 minus 4 plus T minus 2 5 where T belongs to real numbers. So T is your parameter. So we will need to write line which is perpendicular to to the given line which is R 3 minus 4 plus T minus 2 5 right where T belongs to real numbers. So if you look at this line, we are given information of the, about the direction. The direction here, let me write D1, can be written as minus 2, 5, right? Minus 2, 5. Now perpendicular line, what should be the direction vector for perpendicular line? This is what we need to figure out. So we need to find direction vector of perpendicular line. Now, from the given direction vector, we can easily find it. It should be, let me show you how, swap these two and change one of the signs. So, instead of minus 2, 5, I'll write this as 5 and 2. And I've changed one sign. Do you see that? Instead of minus, I made this as plus. So, 5, 2. So, that becomes direction vector for a perpendicular line. So, it is so simple when you're working in R2, right? So we are working in R2, two dimensions. Once you know this direction vector, you know the position vector is given to you. So position vector given to us is 1 minus 4. And therefore, we can write down the equation of perpendicular line, which in vector form, we can write xy as equal to position vector 1 minus 4 plus any parameter, let's use s, uh, and the direction will be 5, 2, right? where S belongs to set of real numbers. Correct? So that is how we get our answer. This is our answer. Is it okay? Now, what you need to do is check if D1 and D2 are perpendicular, right? So how do you check it? You can check by finding the dot product. So let's find the dot product of minus 2, 5 and 5, 2. So minus 2 times 5, let me write, minus 2 times 5 plus 5 times 2. That is minus 10 plus 10, it is 0, right? Therefore, we say uh, the lines are perpendicular, right? So that is a check. Now you are not really required to make a check, but this is just to show you that what we did here was correct. Do you see that? So if you want to find direction vector of a perpendicular line, then in general, what you can do is, if I have D1 as, let's say XY, in that case, D2, I mean, which is perpendicular, could be written as Y minus X. Do you get an idea? So in that case, we'll say D1 is perpendicular to D2. So you could always use this formula or method to find direction vector for a perpendicular line. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.